Hey guys, welcome back to Shrishti Tech Academy. Are you still using POJOS? That is classes with default constructor, parameterized constructor, get a set of methods, hash code and equals and two string for storing data. That is, are you using POJOS in your Spring Boot application and Java classes as DTOs for storing data? Then, it is time for you to change. What if I tell you that records can do the same thing in one single line of code? In this video, let us discuss about records which was introduced in Java 14 and finalized in Java 16. Let us get started. What are records? Records are immutable data carrying classes in Java. Just like how we have a superclass for all the classes, here the superclass for all the record classes is record. Record is used for carrying a fixed set of values, meaning to say that they are immutable. The syntax for the record goes like this, public, record, the record name, just like how you give a class name, followed by parenthesis, followed by the variable names. In case of a POJO class, we have them as instance variables. In case of a record, these are called as record components. And these variables are final by default. Based on the components that you have added, the records will automatically generate an all arcs constructor, get a methods, two string, equals and hash code methods. If you notice, there is no setter method. Why? Because records are immutable in nature. Once you have created a record means you cannot change the value. Of course, you can retrieve the value, but you cannot change the value. The variable components over here are final by default. Few more details about records. Records are immutable, no setter methods. Record classes are final, meaning to say that you cannot extend record class. Records also cannot extend any other class, but they can implement other interfaces. Record classes can be used as data transfer objects. By this way, you are avoiding the boilerplate code that you usually write when you are using POJOS or Java Bean classes. Okay, what about a default constructor in a record? There is no default constructor generated in a record. But if you want to do any validation, then you can go in for a default constructor just for performing the validation. Okay, now let us see how to work with the record. We will do the coding part. Now, let us see how to create a record and what can be added to a record class. Here, I am having a simple example of a POJO class, employee, which is a Java bean. Few instance variables, default constructor, parameterized constructor, get a set of methods and two string. If I want, I can also override hash code and equals. This is just a data carrier class, but the amount of code that we have written is too much. Now let us see how the same employee class can be created as a record with one single line of code. So let me create a new record, select your package, right click new record. Let me give the record name as employee. See the access modifier. The record class can be either public or package level only. Private and protected are not supported. Okay. Now I need to add variable components. The variable components are similar to your instance variables. In my employee class, I have employee name, employee ID and salary. I want to add the same properties here also. So, within the parenthesis, add string emp name, comma, int emp id, comma, double salary. Okay. If you notice, this looks like a parameterized constructor. Correct. When you are working with record, you can create an employee object only using a parameterized constructor. You cannot use a default constructor. The moment a record is created, automatically a parameterized constructor, get a method, hash code and equals and two string method will be generated. Remember, 
setter method will not be generated you cannot add instance variables to this record okay now even before talking about whether this record class can have static variables methods first let us see how to create an object of this employee record let me go to a new class this class is having public static void main let me create an object of employee 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 is equal to new employee of i cannot use a default constructor i need to go in for a parameterized constructor only don't get confused with the second one the second one is in a different package okay that is our java bean which i have got here now let me select it employee name is shri employee id is 10 salary is 1000 okay the next step is we need to call the getter methods so how do the getter methods look like do they have get employee name get emp id just like what we have in a pojo that is in a java bean no the method syntax differs over here let me show it to you employee dot no get employee name but simply emp name with parenthesis you are not calling the property you are calling the getter method of employee the return type is a string this is a getter method this is not a property this is so emp name next directly i will call it within printer and statement employee dot emp id see these are getter methods employee name employee id and salary the last one is employee dot salary okay so these are getter methods there is no concept of setter method in a record because records are immutable even if i try to give employee dot i don't even have an option to call setter methods okay now let us run this here we have got the output okay what other things can we add in a record let me go to the employee record in your employee record you can add static variables static block static methods and also concrete methods concrete methods means the normal methods that we use in other places let me create a static variable first static string company name equal to srishti let me create a static block okay i will assign the value inside the static block for this variable company name is equal to okay and let us add a static method static void print info this is so company just print the company name now let us also add one more concrete method void print details i just want to print the details of the employee this is so name plus emp name see just like the instance variables these are also available directly if you are using your record as a data carrier or a dto object you don't need all this you will never create a method or a static method or a static variable inside a dto object if at all you need to perform certain set of calculation let's say you, you are working with the cart object you want to calculate the total price in those scenarios of course you need a concrete method which you can add inside a record okay this is id emp id and also let me add salary okay this is done now let us call these methods from the main class how do you call a static method class name dot method name in our case it is record name dot method name employee dot company name employee dot print info and i want to call the concrete method so i need an object of employee employee dot print details so let me save and run it i'll pull the console up so here you can see the output you got the final output also okay now let us quickly recap what we have seen till now what is a record a record is a immutable data carrying class the syntax for the record goes like this the moment you give the syntax 
automatically the record will generate a parameterized constructor, get a method, equals and hash code method and two string method. You cannot add setter method or instance variables to this record because records are immutable by nature. Record also supports adding static variable, static block, static methods and concrete methods. You cannot extend any record and a record also cannot extend any other class. But a record can implement another interface. Let's say I want to implement comparable. Here if I give employee. Just like how you make your employee class implement comparable. Here you can make your record implement comparable. What is the error? This comparable is a functional interface. You need to override the method. That is the error. See now the error is gone. This means a record can implement any number of interfaces. One more thing. How do you create this employee object? Directly you have created it using new keyword. What if I don't want to create the object like this using new keyword? I want an object to be created when I call a static method. That also is possible. Go to the record class here. Let me add another static method. Static, the return type should be employee, create instance, return, new employee. Do I have a parameterized constructor? No. So in this case, it is mandatory, I need to provide hard code values. This means, if you want to create a record object without using new keyword, but by calling a static method means, this is an approach. So here, let me give the name as Priya, comma, 10. Okay, how to get this object from the main class? Let me create another reference. Employee, employee2 is equal to employee dot create instance. Now an object is created and given to this employee2 reference. Using this employee2 reference, I can also call print details. Print info, of course, it is going to be same. It is a static method. Let me run this. Here I have got the output for the second employee object also. But remember, if you are using a static method to create an employee object, it is mandatory that you need to provide hard-coded values, which is not acceptable. Okay. What about the default constructor? As I told you, the default constructor can be used for validation purpose. So, here... Let me create a default constructor public employee curly brace. I can do validation here. See I have not added any parenthesis. If emp id is less than 0 then throw. We don't have our own user defined exception. So let us use the inbuilt exception which is available. Illegal argument exception. Invalid ID. Now, let me go to the main class. Purposefully, let me change the value to minus 10. Run it. I should get an exception. Invalid ID in line number 12. So, I hope you can understand. The purpose of using a canonical constructor or a default constructor is just to do validation. Other than that, it doesn't have any purpose. Records are immutable in nature. Once you have created an object means you cannot change the values. This is all about records. See you in one other video. Thank you.